This is the residential wiring trainer that we use here in the tech lab. You can see it has a uh, couple of small uh, mock-ups of some walls, uh, including three electrical boxes and a ceiling box that is going to act as a, uh, as a ceiling light for us. And what we're going to do in this part of the module is uh, show you how residential wiring works, at least at a basic level. But one of the things you really have to make sure you understand is that electricity is never safe. And what I mean by that is if you're not sure what you're doing, and even sometimes if you do think you know what you're doing, it's always best to consult with a licensed electrician. Licensed electricians are experts. This is the work they do day in and day out. So it's very, very important to make sure that you know what you're doing. Throughout this module and through these lessons, I'm not going to teach you exactly what to do as far as if you were an actual electrician because there's no way we could follow all of or we could teach you all the concepts that a professional electrician would know. But it's just to get you exposure into how household or residential wiring works and give you a little experience using some of the tools. Speaking of the tools, I'm going to show you now some of the basic tools that an electrician would use in a simple wiring project like this. Let's take a look. Alright, here we have the layout of tools that you're going to use during your uh, experience in the residential wiring section. Um, we have two different types of screwdrivers here. This first type is called a flathead or a slotted screwdriver. Um, typically flathead is the name used. You can see it has a flat surface. Looks like a minus sign there. Then we have the Phillips head screwdriver. Almost looks like a plus sign when you look at the edge of it. Moving on to the pliers, we have what's known as a linesman's pliers, which has a very flat surface used for pinching down wire. We also have a cutting tool inside there as well. Speaking of cutting tools, we have a different type of pliers. This is a, a, a uh, diagonal cutter. You can see it has a diagonal uh, cut to it if you look at, it the right, at the correct angle. That's used for cutting wire as well. <clears throat> we have a set of needle nose pliers needle nose or long nose pliers and that's because you, as you can see compared with some of the other pliers it has a longer thinner and more tapered end to it. Um, that also has a little cutter in there as well, a little cutting edge. <clears throat> and basically what this is used for is for uh, twisting or putting twists in wires which you'll see in a little bit. And then finally speaking of wires we have a pair of wire strippers and the way wire strippers work, you squeeze them uh, just together, there's a little locking mechanism on there and you can see they spring apart. This little spring allows it to go in and out. And all of these little uh, notches in here, you can see there's numbers on them. Well those match up with different gauges of wire. You have 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. So you have different gauges of wire that you can uh, strip the insulation off of. And We'll do a demonstration of that as we go through the uh, wiring unit. So those are the basic hand tools that you're going to be using while, while working with the residential wiring trainer.